Namaste. Welcome to day 27. Let's begin in tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And a few rounds of cat cow at your feet. So inhale, lift through the heart. And exhale, round. Beginning to link the breath with the movement. Beginning to slow down the breath. And drop in to this time on your mat. So inhale, heart open. Exhale, round through the tailbone. But this time, bring your tailbone all the way down towards your heel. And then inhale, rock forward and come up into up dog. So you know what up dog looks like. You can actually keep your legs on the mat. So it's sort of a, a cobra up dog variation. You can also stay down here in cobra. So you might need to maneuver your, your hands and feet a little bit, but up into cobra and then press back into child's pose. So let's try that a couple more times. So inhale, rock forward, heart lifts, cobra. Exhale, press back through to child's pose. Inhale, round forward into cobra, lift through the heart, press down through the tops of the feet, and exhale, press it back to child's pose. One more. Just waking up the spine in a different way. And come back to center, come back to tabletop. Spread through the fingers, press equally through all 10 fingers, lift the right foot, flex the foot, pinky toe in the direction of the mat, square the hips, core engaged, and bring the right knee to the right tricep. And back to center, we'll do 10. One, core tight, squeeze through the obliques, two, three, don't let your belly sag here, four, five, right knee down, reset through the hands, flex the left foot, lift, core tight, and 10 on this side. One, two, squeeze the obliques, three, four, five, six, seven, Back to tabletop, flip the back toes, flip the toes under, and lift the hips into down dog. Inhale the right leg up, exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, hands to prayer, twist. high lunge. Exhale, plant the palms and step it back to plank. Bend the knees, hop the feet in a little bit and pendulum the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Back to center. Hop them in a little closer. One, two, three, four. Core tight. Five, six, seven, Back to center, a little closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop it back to plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Starting strong, inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, twist. Soften through the belly and look over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale, plant the palms. Take the left foot back to meet the right. And same thing. So bring the knees in a little bit. Core tight, round through the back a little. Press through the palms. Left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop closer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop back to plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Whew. Second chaturanga to downward facing dog. Starting with the core. <laughs> Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. From here, we're going to do something a little different. We've already done uh, switch jumps. We're going to add in a little bit of a core workout too. So take your hands behind your head, behind your ears so the elbows are out. You can make your stance a little narrower. Bend through the left knee, lift through the heart, and switch jump. Left leg forward, right leg forward, right elbow to left knee twist. Step back, high lunge. Left leg forward, right leg forward. Squeeze elbow to knee. So that'll be one. We'll do four more. Step back, switch, switch, squeeze. Two, switch, switch. Squeeze. Three. Four. Five. High lunge. Exhale, plant the palms. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Second chaturanga to downward dog. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, high lunge. So we do the same thing on this side. Hands behind, ears, elbows out. Narrow the stance a little bit so that your hips, your hips are underneath your shoulders. And your right knee is bent. So switch, switch. Left elbow to right knee, squeeze. Step back, we'll do five more. One. tight. Four. And five. High lunge. Plant the palms. Step it back to plank. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. Chaturanga downward facing dog. Lift the hips high. Spread the fingers wide. Walk it out. Come back to the breath. Five long breaths here. Slow down the heart. Slow down the breathing. Breathe through the nose. Inhale, bend through the knees, look between your hands, and hop, step, or jump to the front of the mat in chair. Inhale here, and exhale, release, forward fold. Cross your hands above your head. You can bend through the knees. If you would like, let your head be heavy. hands to prayer. Now step the left foot back and we'll have our legs pretty wide for a side lunge side reach combo. So you're going to bend through 
the right knee. Take your right hand, your right elbow either to the inside of the right knee or the floor. Reach up and over. And then over to the other side. So bend through the left leg. Reach up and over to the right. So readjust your legs as needed. Come back through center, bend through the right, reach up and over. Lift back through center, bend to the left, up and over. Six more. Press your hips back. Last one. Come back to center. Take your legs in a little bit closer, toes pointing out, knees in the direction of the toes, plie. Lift through the right heel, reach up and over to the left with your left arm. Back to center. Other side, lift through the left calf, left heel, back to center. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to center, plie hold. Come back to your breath, sink a little bit deeper, press out with your inner thighs. So press away from you with your inner thighs. Lift through the heart, sink through the hips, close the eyes. You are very, very nearly done with your 30 day practice. You have grown stronger. You have pushed through barriers. You have committed to showing up to yourself. For that, I am grateful. And I hope that you realize how important and how amazing this has been for you, I hope that you've had an experience. I hope that you've had a good experience or learned some things about yourself, about your practice, about what you're looking for in this new year. So inhale, sink a little bit deeper, and then release. You can bring your toes to face the front of the room and slightly inward. Sorry, the side of the room, slightly inward. Inhale, flat back lift. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, half lift, walk your hands under your shoulders. Bend through the knees, press your hips back. Press through all four corners of the feet, lift the heart, so flat back. Reach your right arm in front of you and release, left arm in front of you, and release. And then try both arms in front of you, if you can, if not, that's fine. And release, plant the palms, take the knees onto the mat gently, you can roll your mat. <clears throat> Calves parallel to each other, feet flexed. Inner arch on the mat, frog pose. Make sure that your hips are in line with your knees, don't let them come too far forward or press too far back. your heels in closer, your knees in just a little bit closer in child's pose.
walk your hands in towards your body. Come to sit on your bum. Soles of the feet to the mat, lift through the heart, lift the soles of the feet, you can either straighten the legs if you have the core strength or keep them bent. High boat. Low boat. Lift through the heart, press down through the lower back. And release. Take your legs wide, your arms wide, like kind of like a starfish. And then we'll do 10 star toe touches. So take your right hand to the left leg. And then your right hand, or your left hand to the right leg. We'll do 10. One. Core tight, two. Try to lift through the core. Don't press too much through the hands, if possible. Four. onto your back, press your lower back into the mat, and you can either lift your heart space to get a little bit more of a challenge, or keep your head on the mat, your choice, but press in through the back. You can start with the knees bent, and then from here, straighten the legs, core tight, lower the legs as low as you can, without lifting your lower back, and we'll do 20 kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees into the chest. And then back up. Heart lifts. Press through the lower back. Or heart doesn't have to lift. You can stay on your back. And then lower the legs. Both legs. Bring it back up. One. Lift the legs. Two, three, four, go slow, five, six, Excellent. Woo! Knees into the chest. <laughs> Take the right ankle to the left knee. Bring the left leg in towards your body. Pigeon on the back. Flex through the feet. And then cross the right knee over the left knee like you're sitting in a chair, and bring the cross over to the left, supine twist. Back to center. Right leg to the mat, left knee on top of right. Left ankle on top of right knee. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the left and the right correct. <laughs> it's a hard life. So cross the left knee over the right knee. Supine twist with a cross. Back to center, take the right sole of the foot to the mat, left knee on the right, nope, left ankle on the right knee, press your elbows into the mat and lift, bridge with a hip opener, one legged bridge with a hip opener, and we'll pulse ten times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, release down to the mat, switch sides, lift, 
you may notice that one leg is very different than the other leg. <laughs> one hip is very different and pulse. One, two, if you're feeling any pain here, you can always come out of it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release onto the mat. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. And then happy baby. You can rock side to side. The soles of the feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana or Shavasana, Yogi's Choice. I like Supta Baddha Konasana because I have very tight inner thighs, so it's just a sort of relaxing way to stretch them and allow gravity to help. Take your hands left to right, palms lifted, eyes closed. Relax the muscles in your forehead, in your cheeks. Begin to consciously breathe into any place that you feel tension and make the decision to release that tension. And notice if that makes a difference in your body. Notice if you feel the release physically, emotionally, or energetically. Stay here for as long as you're able. See you tomorrow. We're almost there. We're in the final stretches. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.